What is up, everybody? We got a little box here for me, QT. So uh, Cliff messaged me the other week and was like, uh, hey, buddy, how about we uh, we fix that emblem on the back of your car? <laughs> and uh, of course, I'm all for it, you know. We're repping the EQT fan. He's like, well, all right, well, I'll get you some, uh, some badges sent over. He's like, take one, take whatever one you want for your car and then just give away the rest. So uh, I'm gonna see if any of the local guys want them. And if not, then uh, look down in the comments below and I'll see if anybody else wants some. Oh, there's a sticker in there that I almost cut. That's good. Look, we got a silver one, red one, and what we're gonna rock, the matte black. So I'll bring the camera over here and show all these. Um, yeah, of course we got a sticker, but we have a bunch of those already. Um, Looks like we got a hat. Heck yeah, brother. Nice. Oh yeah, it says Equilibrium Tomb on the side of it. Right on. It's a little big. Bring this down right here. See how that fits. Oh well, look, I don't really wear hats anymore. If you guys have been on the channel for a while, you used to know I always, always used to rock a hat. How about it, babe? Feel like I'm trying to be a young guy? Yeah. <laughs> of course, we got another shirt. Heck yeah. So I have a shirt already, but I think this is a different, this is a different shirt. Oh yeah, this one says it on the back. So it's got a small, small EQT on the front, big EQT on the back. My current, the one I have now has a big EQT on the front and that's it, so nice. I will definitely, oh, look at that. Dang. You got their own little little branding on the sleeve. That's what's up. That's a nice touch. Heck yeah. Go Cliff. Go team. Oh, it even says it in the, in the back. Ooh, where is it? Boom. That is sick. Heck yeah, guys. It feels good too. It's like a nice. Did I miss it? Oh, they got it on, on both sleeves? Or no, just one sleeve. Okay. Nice. Very nice. Well. You guys should know that these add at least 15 horsepower. So we're gonna go uh, add some power to the car. All right guys, this should be uh, pretty simple. I'm just gonna tape off the area and try and make it, because I measured this out before. So I'm gonna try and just get that E up there in that corner and it should be like a perfectly good spot for this. Should be worth a couple horsepower, I think. All right, we got our tape up. This one is like already falling off, so we'll just go ahead and I think it all came off. It did, nice. And then this one might be a little harder. We might have to actually pull out the hair dryer for this one. Oh, yeah, probably should have. <laughs> you got some spray clean on there, and then I use a little bit of clay bar, and then I finish it off with some some alcohol. Make this a real good surface for this to stick. I really like this because there's like a film in front to keep it from getting scratched. You got a thing on the back to hide the sticky, right? And then you got the foam to keep it all in place so it doesn't fall apart. So there's, obviously there's a lot of uh, space here for things. So it's gonna look real good. All right, that's where she's gonna live. Oh yeah. I think it looks yeah, pretty dead even with the S3. We need to get our Texas plates. We are uh, a little out of date there. All right, guys. Well, we got the finished project there. We'll have to take her out for a spin and uh, see how much power we gain from this. <laughs> Anyways, just want to give a shout out to the EQT guys. Uh, 
Cliff, especially getting this sent over. Uh, it's awesome. Can't say, uh, I don't even know. Just thank you. Big thank you. I got the emblems, the shirts, the hats, the stickers, got the coilovers, the tune, and uh, what else we got? We got the uh, grounding cable kit. We'll have their MPI once it's out, fuel lines, fuel pump. Um, eventually, when they have a Gen 4 turbo and uh, whatever else. Oh, they're, they're working on exhaust systems. They just came out with an exhaust for the Mark 8 GTI. Hopefully, that sends over to the R and the S3 and the A3s and uh, Mark 7s and all that. So, eventually, we'll be all EQT kitted out. And uh, hopefully, this weekend, we can go out and uh, get that 10 second pass. These coilovers, like I said, we took out collectively over seven degrees of camber out of the car. And I only need a tenth off my 60 foot to get me into the tents. So this should be <laughs> a fairly simple thing. I got the burnout switch in there now. Do a burnout when the tire's up and uh, just get after it. And if I have to, I'll, even, I'll drop the cap back out. You get even more weight. <coughs> we do have a drag strip event. And I know I've been talking about it for months, but it keeps getting postponed at the end of March. Uh, I think it's whatever holiday weekend that is, the end of March, we're going to the drag strip. It will be prep. It's unlimited runs. It's a private event. So it'll be a real good time. And um, we'll be in uh, Dallas for TX2K in the beginning of March. And uh, I don't know. This video is just, or not this video. Um, it's going to be hard to put videos out this month because of how work was. And I got a vasectomy and then complications with that. That's why I'm off work today. Um, and we have family flying in this week and then two weeks from now and Valentine's and February is just going to be a rough month for videos. But uh, hopefully this weekend we can, like I said, get out, get that 10 second pass. And then uh, I don't know what's up next for parts. It's either going to be a front sway bar or brakes. But uh, yeah, only time will tell. Hopefully I actually get some taxes back this year and we can make something happen. <laughs> Anyway. What is up? I wanted to go ahead and prove to you guys that that emblem added some horsepower. So we're going to go pull the seats out, the rear seats out, back seat, or the, wow, front seat, rear seats, bring the tire pressure down, go grab some 85 and give it a test hit. Tomorrow morning, we're going to get up nice and early and uh, try and get that 10. Also, shout out to Sean for this badass hoodie i got a brown one and this one it's sick i love it shout out to the homie but so we get a time lapse going and uh let's go in this video with some 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 go fastness and i just love this cockpit and i love this p3 gauge ah. anyway we got the draggy charging let's uh pull some seats out Shed some weight think about even pulling the cat back but i need to get up under there and uh disconnect the valves and see if it still lets me take traction control off because if that's the case then i can drop the exhaust not today or tomorrow but for when we go to the drag strip at the end of march we have a proper track day if it doesn't get canceled for the third time but uh, i want to be able to remove that and uh hopefully run really really fast but uh let's get to work Still gotta bring down tire pressures and stuff, but see, I got my burnout switch sitting up here, my cables and stuff for my camera, but we're clear. Still got the detailing bag back there, but drop these tires down to about 22 because they'll warm up on the street a bit, especially if we can find a spot to do a burnout. Uh, we'll get the uh, keep wanting call, to call the GoPro. Get the I put the draggy up here, and it's magnetic. And that way, uh, the antenna's there, so draggy won't slide. I'm gonna put all this stuff inside. And then uh, we'll go get some fuel. And then, uh, yeah, we'll go do a tester or two. All right, off we are. We're gonna go return this torque wrench since my, the cap for the battery on my torque wrench broke. And it's got a spring on it and it sits on the bottom. Super annoying. Anyway, it broke. So now my torque wrench doesn't work. So we had to rent this to finish up Kalen's car, but I'm gonna go get my hundred bucks back and reminds me I need to go look for a uh oh my godness. Why is there a TTRS sitting down here? Whoa brother, who are you? What are you doing in my neighborhood? Sheesh. Anyway, 
we'll go do that. We'll get some fuel. We don't want to do digs at a quarter tank. And, uh, well, we'll just have some fun. We took a bunch of tire pressure out. We're down to 23 PSI, and then we turned the, the dampening way up. So it should be a fun ride. Little Vato Zone action. Got me. This is what I use for my spherical end links and such. So need some more of that. Now let's go get some fuel. This thing's hollering at me because of the seats being out. Well, guys, unfortunately, we love these lights. I had to come home, make a pit stop after getting 85. One of the bushings out of my wishbone, you know, that the spring sits on, kind of started popping out. And it was install error. I messed it up. And it's done it once before, a long time ago when we lived in Virginia. But it started to pop out. I was making this noise. I was hearing a squeaking on the way home this week. And I didn't think anything of it. I was like, oh, okay, it just needs some lube. But with the, when I took the seats out, you could hear kind of like a knocking in the back. And when I was getting fuel, I looked up under there. And sure enough, this little the bushing was starting to fall out. So got up under there, re everything, pushed that bushing in, and tried to lock it in there a little bit better. Hopefully, it won't come out now. I should have did that last time. But let's get out. It should be, uh, well, my watch won't come out of here because this thing is nice and tight. But... Should be a little bit uh, better conditions to go try this out. Road should be a little bit warmer, and uh, the DA eh, might be a little bit worse, but traction over DA at this point. Let's go try it out. Well, I guess we're going to have to film like this. I apologize. Uh, my GoPro says it's at 50% battery, and it's just, it just keeps dying after a couple seconds of recording. So, whatever. But we do have this burnout switch that I haven't really gotten to test much with um, I can turn it on it gives me front wheel drive I can hold the e-brake up or the button you know hold the button can constantly up go into launch control and it'll do a burnout for a moment and then it'll just cut throttle which sucks on my uh, mark 7 that was a manual I could hold the e-brake up for as long as I wanted to I could do a burnout for a whole minute uh, this car however does not like to do that so what we need to try and do is figure out how to properly warm the tires up i'm thinking just like a low um, just start at like you know two mile an hour in florida and just let it maybe like modulate do like a brake boost type thing and uh just let them rip i guess how you would do a normal burnout um, with a rubber drive car i guess i don't know but we're gonna give that a shot it sucks because I wanted the GoPro up here so you guys could see me do the whole, you know, everything, but I guess not. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to record and do the drag at the same time. So that's a whole other kind of messes everything up. And the recording portion of the drag app has been broken for, I don't know, forever now. I don't know why they haven't fixed that, but here we are. This is like a decent spot right here. So I'm going to go ahead and try slow down hit this button see if we can do a little burn ski and the car's gonna freak out even more there we go stabilization control second gear turn around we'll do that again and then go for a run that was pretty easy got my heartbeat up mm. wow, it's so weird i never get to see myself when i record so this is awkward for me traffic got all backed up there no one was able to go around Whew, i'm nervous Man, all right i'm gonna end this
and it must have made me rub. That scared the crap out of me. I think that slowed us down. We definitely spun off the launch, no doubt. It sucks I can't read off the time to you guys and, and be on camera. All right, well, let's check it out. 1104, 126.8. Dude, you guys realize point zero four is nothing. Go on your stopwatch. You can't stop your stopwatch that fast. That's it's it's like it's nothing, dude. Like that bump in the road, or man, God, that bump is kind of brutal. I'm gonna try and do it the opposite way this time. Um, I'm gonna check tire pressures real quick because I know that they've gotten some heat in them, so the tire pressures went up. Bring them back down to 23. Try them again. Whew, I'm pumped. I think we got this today. Well guys, I'm just gonna end the video here. We got our 1104. We know uh, there's more on the table, but after that launch, I tried another one. Something didn't sound right. Look under the car, there's bushing. It was just like sitting in there, just like that. Exactly like that, actually. You can see where this was, uh, There was there's like a groove. Let me see if I can zoom in here. There's like a groove worn into it right there. So we are gonna have to, when I installed this, it went in kind of sideways and it got stuck. So it's 100% uh, my fault. Um, and these were actually out of my Golf R. Actually, no, maybe I left them in the other, I don't know. Either way, when I put these in, they didn't go in straight. And it, I think it like kind of widened this out. And then since putting the coilovers on, I think maybe, uh, you know, just extra spring rate excuse me back here i don't know either way i'm gonna have to like punch punch these down some kind of try and make it smaller get it back in there uh yeah that's my day so thanks for watching guys uh like i said well next weekend we're doing a whole her birthday weekend uh, yeah i don't know i don't know what the next video is going to be hopefully going out doing this stuff and the next month uh private track day beginning of next month TX2K, Dallas, should be a ton of videos from that. Uh, yeah, just trying to make content when I can, but uh, fresh two-year-old potty training this weekend. There's a lot of things going on that uh, take priority. Just is what it is. But thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you on the football.